cancel, cancel, cancel. There we go. Hey, everybody. Just give it a minute, five. <laughs> okay. It's annoying. <laughs> Let's go here. Okay, there we go. We're getting some people showing up. Some people are showing up. Hey, what's going on, Skylar? How you doing, bud? Just kind of wandering around the Vegas toy convention. There we go. Homer Simpson's here, Ashton, Maine. Just going to go wander around the booths for probably about 20 minutes. Show you guys what's going on at the first day of the Vegas toy convention. In fact, let's go back here and see what's... Uh, that is a very glittery stormtrooper head. Uh, but there's, you know, there's all kinds of different stuff going on here. I kind of wanted to show you a little bit of what it's like. I'll be doing a regular video on this while I'm here, but I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a live, live look. So you never know, there's a lot of different people here. This is a, uh, if you like the Garbage Pail Kids cards, there's a whole section of artists who do that and specify like just in that. So there's a lot of really, really cool wacky packages, Garbage Pail Kids kind of stuff. So if you want to check that out, that's down here. The convention goes from Friday tonight until Sunday if you're in Vegas. I know a lot of you aren't in Vegas, but still, figured we would just kind of show you what's going on anyways. Give you a little bit of a taste. There we go, okay, we got about 60 people here. If you don't mind, if you like seeing this kind of stuff, give this a big thumbs up. Hit that thumb button really quickly. We've got more, there's a GPK and Wacky Warehouse. So again, we got a lot of Garbage Pail Kids, a lot of really cool stuff. If you don't know what this stuff is, look it up. After the stream, Go Google it, because Garbage Pail Kids are actually really, really cool. Funny, like parodies, but really cool, like gory, goofy artwork. And there's just, I mean, look at there's a bunch of, bunch of customs over here, right? How you doing, man? Good, good. We're live streaming right now, so, <laughs> so say hi. But we got some really cool customs. I mean, take a look at that. You guys are gonna love that. That's so awesome. Still at it. Yep. I mean, look at these. Look at these things. These are great. Just kind of want to show those off. This is a Dark Side Toys. There's a lot of really cool customs. Really cool stuff. And that, I mean, that's just one of the little booths here. We got Pokemon cards, if that's something you're into. See magic cards. Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? Good, good. And that was uh, Steve from Rogue Toys. If any of you guys watch Pawn Stars, He's their resident toy expert. That's who just walked by. I'm doing good, guys. How are you doing? Yeah, there's live stream going on. So, yeah, there's uh, just a bunch of different things here. We're just kind of walking around, kind of getting some B-roll footage and getting ready for a bigger video at the end of the convention. But just wanted to show you guys what this is all about. We'll probably wander the actual main hall. This is more like the artist alley kind of thing. Oh yeah, Steve is on Pawn Star. He's there. He's been their toy expert for a few years now. It was somebody else for a little while, but at least I know the last two, maybe three years, has been Steve. So he's there. Uh, in fact, we'll go wander by his booth here in just a second. He has a Rogue Toys booth set up, and he even has a little poster on there saying like Steve from Pawn Stars. So yeah, no, good guy. Hey, this guy, great artist. How you doing, man? Good, good. So yeah, it's kind of nice to always come to these conventions because. I kind of know everybody a little bit, like not everybody, but a decent amount of people where everywhere I turn, there's somebody that either knows me or I know them. So it's kind of fun just to, you know, go to the community, check these things out when they happen. This is a yearly convention that comes to Vegas. Um, and they usually have decent, decent celebrities here. Not nothing huge, like, oh my goodness, I want that. I want that, got to Jurassic Park the game. All right, that might, Tornado Rex, does anybody remember this? Unopened Tornado Rex. All right, this is probably my favorite booth out of all the booths, look at these. Yeah, shampoo bottles, look at that. There's shampoo bottle Yoda, Jabba. Oh, those are cool, those are really cool. This might just be my favorite booth here already. Look at that old school, what is this? Yoda Nutcracker. Yeah, see, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. That's why you gotta like wander and pay attention to some of these booths. There's a lot of needs. There's a T-Rex. There's a child dressed as a T-Rex. This is good stuff. 
Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I might have to come back and look at see how much that Jurassic Park game was. But I would be too tempted to open it. Is the problem? <laughs> but yeah. So how are you guys doing tonight? Luckily, out here in Las Vegas, the whole Corona thing isn't affecting us too much. Yes, Disneyland is closed. Disney World is closed. But out here, there haven't been as many cases as in Southern California, which is kind of why I'm glad I live in Nevada. Oh, look. Yeah. That's funny. Oh, it's a different one than the one we yeah, have, right? They, re they reissued with new colors recently. I saw him post about that yeah. today. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys are familiar, but there's uh, the Aaron Wheels Fotheringham wheelchair Hot Wheels thing. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool, different, interesting Hot Wheels. Huh. There's a Presley face for those of you who haven't seen him in a while in videos. The Pop Shack, for those of you who like pops, that would not be me. I do not. I just don't. They don't do anything for me. I see dinosaurs, though, so maybe they got something cool here, dinosaur West. I love the old school lunch boxes. Oh, look at that one. That is awesome. That is really cool. Oh, yeah, some of these figures are some of the coolest figures. Ace Duck, Rocksteady. Yeah. Yeah, there's some, there's some decent 90. What is that one? Is that like a Ghostbusters? What is that? I don't remember what exactly that one's too, but there's some cool old school figures. Wingnut back there from Ninja Turtles. That to me is like my favorite part of these things is seeing all those like old school kind of figures. All right, let's see what the next, what the next aisle's got. Oh, we've got the hip hop trooper. He was back there. I think he's half in armor. You can see him back there, hip hop trooper. He's got like red armor. He does like beatboxing, break dancing kind of stuff. Pretty cool. There's a bunch of wrestlers here. If you're into WWE, um, there's a bunch of classic like 90s wrestlers who are going to be here all weekend doing pictures and signings and everything. Yeah, here's another. I'm not going to dive into that booth because it looks a little, a little crowded. There's, there's the Jolly Bee. Do yourself a favor and look up Dano Channel and Jolly Bee. <laughs> that's, that's it. I'm going to stay on that for a little bit longer. Jo look up. When you're done with this stream, look up Dano Channel and look up Jolly Bee and watch my videos on the Hollow Hollow. You're going to love it. Or you're going to hate me. It works both ways. <laughs> There's some cool Star Wars figs. I know you guys are here for the Star Wars. And there's just some cool stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, take a look at those. Oh, is that Slash? Yeah, that is Slash. Those are pretty cool. But I like that they're kind of like 8-bit, like the video game. Like, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that is a pretty cool Alice poster. Ooh, I like that Rick Dalton. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood movie poster. That's actually really cool. It's one of the Italian movies he went and made. That's cool. I love that. And what else we got? More more pops, lots of pops everywhere you look. But again, there's always like little hidden gems. When you like go to these booths, if you sit like and just look through, you can usually find some cool stuff. Like we haven't seen that figure on shelves in a minute. And here they are. There's like two or three of them probably. Yeah, three of them. Just right there. That's why these conventions are really cool to pop into because you see stuff that you really don't see in stores anymore because the distribution lately has been just so awful at your target. Some Walmarts and stuff and getting things on Amazon isn't always you know it's not always something that you can eat. see I feel the same way I don't like pops either I think pops are trash they don't do anything oh see look I'm gonna love this booth look at this thing classic I see just tons of 90s Star Wars goodness oh my how much is that Falcon I don't need another Falcon in life but one Fitty. There's just a lot of cool stuff. And again, this is, this is what I love digging through is this kind of stuff. Look at these Transformers. Millennium Falcon Transformers. There's some cool legacy figures. Now, I might pick up something like this. There's actually some really cool, neat stuff back there. 200 for... Oh, yeah. That's... Oh, look at this. Look at this. One, that's actually not a bad price for this. With the moss and everything on it. Oh my god, and a dragon snake? Wow, there's some there's actually some really cool stuff. There's even another X Wing back there. 
There's everywhere you look, there's a bunch of neat little things. Oh, look, I'm seeing some of my favorites. Micro machines, is there anything different that I don't have? Which I'm pretty sure I have them also, no. Oh, no worries, I'm just looking at what you guys got to offer here. Showing it to the internet, so. Oh, see this, I might. I think I'm due for a review on one of these. Especially if it's in package, like that's... Okay, I'm definitely coming back here later. There's some good stuff in there. We Oh, look, there's some cosplayers here doing some photos. That's always fun, too. Again, I may not do it on live stream, but... Man, there is some... Uh, there are some gems to be had. Look, I mean, I'm seeing old... Oh, you know what? Check this out. I actually just got this in the mail today. I just got this in the mail today, so I'm going to be unboxing that this weekend. But there's a lot of cool, you know, Force Awakens era. I mean, some of these things I didn't get. I never picked up then, but now I might like to. Like an Ahsoka Vader pack. That was pretty cool. The Disney BB-8. I don't think I need that, but... There's, again, always a lot of really cool... Kanan jars? I don't think I have Kanan jars. There's a lot of neat... Yeah, Holdo. Revan from uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff. Uh, the Dano Channel, that's what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, yes. <laughs> DA and Dasho. Yeah. <laughs> so now here we are on the other, uh, this is actually, I think, the Rogue Toys booth, because there's, remember I was mentioning Steve Johnson. There's his, uh, his flyer. Yeah, Pawn Stars Toy Expert. He's their residence toy expert. Now see, there's some, look at this, this. That is a good Falcon. That is a really good Falcon. There's some, there's, oh, see, that's what I want. $4.99. Goo, not today, not this weekend. But there's, I mean, there's some neat, really neat stuff. Like, I'm personally a sucker for these old, the old 90s. Oh, they're so good. They're so good. Look at that, he's got the little boga, weird little thing. And look, there's a bunch of packaged, like our loose but bagged figures. There's all kinds of different stuff. What are those, Gears of War? I can't tell what these are. Yeah, Gears of War, Gears of War. Yeah, there's a lot of neat stuff here. And of course, more and more walls and walls of pop figures because it wouldn't be a toy con without them. How much is that at, -AT? Look at that thing. I want the AT-AT. -AT. I have one. I actually have a legacy collection um, AT-AT -AT that it's just sitting in my garage, fully boxed, and I'm, I wanted to do a video on it, but I was like, I'm gonna save it for a special occasion. One day, I'll dive into it, but we'll, we'll see. Is that the, there's a droid factory or whatever it is back there, or the Creature Cantina, that's right, the Creature Cantina is back in that glass case. And I think we're gonna hit the last aisle here and then I'll stop the, uh, Stream. I just wanted to give you guys kind of a taste of what it is. And we're going to be seeing more more stuff throughout the weekend. But I did want to just kind of show you guys a little bit of something on the first day before it gets super busy. But I will be back out here tomorrow. So if you're visiting the convention, say hi to me. I'll be out here tomorrow for a couple hours in the morning. And then all day Sunday because I'm hoping to get a photo with Carl Weathers. I paid for it. But I don't know if he's going to cancel or not due to everything. There have been some people that canceled... But by the looks of it, a lot of stuff's still here. A lot of, you know, a lot of people still showed up, even though it's the first day. So things are looking good so far. Oh, yeah, take a look at that. Take a look at all those figures. A lot of customs. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's some real cool stuff. That's, that's awesome. Uh, I do believe I would get a refund. Yeah, if they can't, if he cancels, they are processing refunds. What I've seen, because there's like five or six people that did cancel, and they said they're processing refunds soon. So, I mean, I don't think it'll be immediately, but eventually, yeah, I'd get my money back for it. Which is why I'm kind of glad I bought it early, just in case. Um, oh, I'm going to have to look there in a minute. But first, I see some cool... Oh, see, I really want that. I might have to get that. When I was growing up, I had that He-Man horse. It's a really cool one. Uh, look at those Tauntauns. How much are the Tauntauns? It's like a grody Tauntaun for seven bucks. I want it. There's, there's just a lot of like weird, neat, old pieces you don't see everywhere. How about the Dagobah playset? Dagobah action playset. 
150 bucks. What do y'all think of that? They're slashed. Dick Tracy figures. I was just talking to my wife about Dick Tracy the other day. It's such a weird movie, but it was cool. I need, it's like one of those that I need to rewatch soon. Mario Brothers Dixie Cup thing. <laughs> There's all kinds of cool stuff here, guys. Now, if you see something and you want me to go back to it, like, let me know. But I think we're going to hit, oh, Land of the Jawas action playset. Oh, you're going to be going tomorrow. Nice. Nice. Cool. Well, if you run into me, I'll be here in the morning for a couple hours from like 10 to noon. But then I'm going to a St. Patrick's Day bar crawl after that. Oh, yeah. Some of the vintage figs. i show you guys a little bit of those. You can see some classic Star Wars. I mean, look at that. Bespin Leia with soft goods and the cool print on there. There's some really cool stuff here. There's some really cool stuff. All right, let's go back to the end. We're almost to the end of the row here, and then we'll uh, we'll end the stream, and we will uh, we'll get back with you guys tomorrow. I think I'm gonna have I think I'm gonna finish that Q and A video. I have it queued up, ready to record, and I might record it tonight after dinner. We will see. We will see. But, oh look, there's little like there's always a cool like you know unique craft. Someone who sells stuff on Etsy. Little little pots with cool little character versions of them in there. It's a lot of neat stuff. I think we're back down to the end of the corner again. I don't want to show you everything, so I'm going to be doing a, a full, full video later on. I don't know what that is or why it's like that, but yeah. There you go, some more episode one Star Wars figures. But to me, that's where the gems are. Oh, what is this? Gaming, Game Boy Advance. Wait. Is this a, what is this? I am kind of curious. Thank you. <laughs> so it's like, it's a retro box that they've got here that kind of will play a ton of old different games. Hey, how you doing? How are we doing here? Good, good. Just taking a look at what you guys got. What is this? This is the retro box. Retro box, okay. All your old favorites are built in ready to play. Wow. So, and it just uses a... Are you the one that asked me about Mule earlier today? No, it wasn't. <laughs> gotcha. But yeah, so you got Genesis games. I'm guessing Super Nintendo by the controller. Oh, yeah, everything. Genesis, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Atari. Wow. Four systems, 2,700 games for one night. 2,700 games. That's two controllers, tables, manual, everything you need. Just plug it in and play. Wow. And then for two ninety nine, the fully loaded version on the right, this has got it all. I'm seeing Game Boy Advance. Is that Coleco? Is it? 1,300 arcade games. What? Plus every game for Atari. 7,800. Coleco. Daphne, not to laser this games like Dragon's Lair Spaces. Game Gear. Game Gear. <laughs> game Boy Original. Advance. Oh, wow. And Television. Master System. And Sega Genesis. N64. <laughs> NES. And Terrible Graphics. Here under Ports, you get Cody for streaming. A desktop can use the device as a computer. This is, this is pretty, yeah, everyone's like, what? Yeah, that's pretty legit. How much for that version? Oh, wow, that's not bad at all. Works out to about four cents a game. Yeah, that's not terrible at all for what that is. That's awesome. Not right now. No, I've got, I'm doing a little live stream right now. So everybody watching just got to hear and see all of that. So, and this is SKG Retro Gaming. It's a little info for you guys to see there. Just kind of screenshot that if you want. And, yeah, look into that a little bit more, guys. There you go. Really, is a Game Boy Advance stuff. That I was like, what? Yeah, I want you. all those again. Cool. Thank you very much for the info. And there's a dog here. I think we've kind of we've made our way back to the beginning. Here's Critical Care Comics. They're a really cool organization. They're a nonprofit that visits uh, children's hospitals and gives them comics. So it's a really cool cause to get. And there's, yeah, we're getting into more artists and more of the stuff we've already seen. We're back to the posters again all right guys i what'd you get what'd you get poster nice that's the other you always get cool swag when you come to these things too i should probably should show you guys my face at least once right so yeah guys thank you so much for watching to those of you it's been about 20 minutes just what i thought i would do on this live stream so thank you guys for tuning in uh, if you have questions for q and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I've got the video queued up, ready to go, so I can record it. So hit me with comments for the Q&A. Just write Q&A, and then ask me a question. I'll go through some of those comments tonight, and I'll do them probably tomorrow. I'll release a video on that. So thank you guys so much for checking in with the stream. I hope you enjoyed the look at the Vegas Toy Con. And until next time, may the Force have with you. Goodbye forever.